Today we're going to take a look at entering your reading data, your level A assessments, into PowerSchool. So I'm starting off on the Chinook's Edge website, and I'm just going to go down here to Quick Links. Now, teachers, you're going to be going into Power Teacher to do this. So you're going to click on a little different link than what I'm going to click on here, but I'm going to go into PowerSchool, and we are going to enter our Level A reading assessment data. Now that I'm logged into PowerSchool, I want to enter the reading data. Now it seems like it would be a logical place to come over here, but that's where my course marks go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little backpack image over here, and that's going to bring me into some student information, and this is where I add in records and things like that. So over here you can see I've got a very small class, just one student. So we're going to click on Lori Standards Student Information, and what I'm looking at here is term grades, and I'm not seeing anything. I want to change my screen to show Lori Standards reading data. So when I go into that, I find some previous reading data in here. And now I'm going to add a new record because I've completed the fall assessment on the reading data. So year 2018-2019, the period, yeah, we're in period one. So we're in the first block of the school year, the first trimester, if you will, of the school year. I can choose which benchmark I've used to assess her reading this year. And this year I used Burns and Rowe. Now, Lori Standards is in grade six. It's got her reading level is quite a bit lower than it was. I'm going to put her at a grade four reading level. That keeps her at targeted supports, which is where she's been all along. I think if she were able to achieve a grade five reading level, she'd go to universal supports. So that's my goal for her this year would be to get her up into the universal supports. But she's sitting at a grade four level. And then I'll make comments on the strategy. Lori would benefit from practiced reading with a partner for 20 minutes daily. So there's my strategy for her. and then my comment might be that Lori continues to need assistance selecting reading material at her level. I've noticed she is picking books that are a little bit beneath her because they're easy for her, but they are not challenging her to improve her reading at all. And what I think is going on here based on these results is we've got some fluency and decoding challenges and we're having a bit of vocabulary challenges. So I'm going to save this. And now that puts a new record in for today's date, my tool, reading at grade four. There's the challenges. And now that's going to push into dossier. So as we are viewing and combing through our data in dossier, PowerSchool will now push those new results into dossier for Ms. Laurie standards. So we enter in PowerSchool but then dossier is really where we view the data. Hopefully that helps this fall with entering your reading data into PowerSchool so that it comes through on the dossier screen.